Hello friends, so um, I've wrote a small ebook called How to Read Tunisian Arabic but actually if you um, followed me uh, on this ebook or this course it's you'll find the ebook link by the way in the description box and in the comments section so yeah, go, go and download it, it's a small one so if you actually follow me here you will be able not to only read Tunisian Arabic but also uh, any other dialect of Arabic and also Fosha, so it's like three in one because they are the same thing basically. Okay, so let's start. So I want to explain a little about the index page here or the contents page. Um, so first of all, we're gonna see the first one is the general principle of reading. We're going to explain how do people actually read in Arabic. Like for example, in English, we read from left to right. In Arabic, we read from right to left. And we have vowels and stuff like that. So uh, these, from one to six, it's about explaining these things. And then it's Tunisian SMS language principle or any other SMS um, language people use. Okay, so what is really SMS language? It sounds obvious. It's what people use in their SMS. But also, people might not use this SMS language. SMS language, language is basically in the English alphabet or the Roman um, alphabet or let's say French alphabet mixed with some um, numbers. If you follow my courses or my lessons, you'll find me putting numbers between letters, which is kind of awkward. So yeah, that is called SMS language. So if you see people texting on Facebook, for example, you'll probably see them texting in the SMS language I'm speaking of. Okay, so there are also people that do text and write stuff and and it's not in SMS language, it's rather in the Arabic script and that that is um, what the six first chapters are about, the Arabic script. Okay, <clears throat> so then a little practice. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, the general principle of reading. So the Arabic alphabet, our Arabic language has 20 letters, not like Japanese, an infinite <laughs> sort of like 10,000 kanjis and big, big, huge number of letters it's very simple here it's 28 letters okay so we have like 28 different sounds you never find two sounds that are the same in arabic for example the, the letter la and la are kind of close but they have they have differences okay it's not very complicated don't worry so then we have the arabic language is written from right to left hmm? i said this before and every letter has a name so, for example, if you say A, um, that's the, the, the name of the letter A. In Arabic, for example, the first letter is Alif, it's called Alif, but it's not really pronounced Alif almost anywhere, besides if we call, if we um, on purpose call, say like, for example, the first letter of Arabic is Alif, then then that's the only probably the 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 second case that we um call alif by its name but what i want to say is for example if you say catherine in english you don't say catherine you know you don't say the name of the letter the name of the letter is something else it's like the id card of the letter so just forget about this it's not a very important detail um so 28 letters 28 simple letters and then um, also vowels in Arabic are kind of different we don't write vowels as letters actually vowels are small symbols that are written either on top or at the bottom of the letter so that's how it works in Arabic we don't write uh, for example my name is Shiraz S H I so the S H uh, if I'm going to write it in Arabic, I'll be writing, uh, for example, that's ha we have a, actually an example here. So, for example, Catherine, so ka, ka, Catherine, so the A, you see that A is this little um, hyphen you see here, this little 
line. That is the A. For example, the I here, this is the R, the, the R in Arabic, this letter here, and the I, the vowel that you see here, is actually on the bottom, at the bottom, this little line at the bottom. So, okay, it's very simple. And then, um, how is a letter read? It's actually the basic sound from the name plus the vowel. For example, this is the letter um, Ra. Ra, okay? The R is uh, the Ra, okay? So we don't say Ra I. We say the basic sound, which is R plus the E. So it's Ri. For example, if you say R plus I equals Ri, then Ra plus uh, Kasra plus E, the E sound, equals Ri as well. You see, it's very similar. So I just not complicate things. Um, a letter can be written slightly different according to its place in a word. For example, in English, the O is written here the same as if it's written at the end of the, of the word. In, in Arabic, it's slightly different and we will see that. For example, this is an example. This is um, the, the name Catherine. Let's write it from right to left to follow how Arabic script works. So put the C and the A and then T, H. So this is how it's written. Catherine. Cool. And then we're going to see the equivalent of each, each sound um, here in Arabic. So the ka, ka sound is this letter here that you see here. This kind of, I don't know. And the vowel is the a, it's on top. And then th, the sound th, ka, th, 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 is this letter that has three dots on top. And the uh sound is the, the small circle that is right here. And then the r is this letter. And the e is this little thingy. Okay. So you see how it is like we uh, and then if we are going to collect all the all the letters together this and this and this and this and uh, collect them together and we put this first and then this and we move this little line over here and put this right next to it like this and then we have this at the end. You see, just a very small change that happened to this letter over here. We removed this line. So that is what it means um, that a letter can be written slightly different according to its place in a word. Because not here it's isolated, here it's between letters. I hope I'm not complicating things and that you're understanding me very well. So, okay. In some cases, we do not pronounce some letters even though we write them. Sometimes the alif, for example, is a letter, uh, isn't pronounced because it is hamzatul wasl. Sometimes the lam isn't pronounced because the letter after it belongs to the list. Uh, this list, huruf al shamsiya, um, and long vowels are letters that are written as letters but read as vowels. We're going to get into details right now of all of this. So let's begin. So these are the names of the Arabic alphabet, Arabic letters. The first one is A, Alif. The name is Alif. And the close sound to it is the A in English. This is Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kha. Germans can, can um, do this sound quite well. So Kha. <laughs> Kha, ha, kha, dal, like in dinosaur, dal, dal, like in that, ra, and zay, sin, shin, sod. The difference between sin and sod, you know, they have the almost the same sound, s and s, s and s. This is kind of thick, fat sound, like um, 
I don't know. Is there an? I I don't I don't I don't know if there's an English equivalent of this uh, sound, but it's like sa like sabun, soap. Or this is like sayara car sa sa sayara and sa 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 sa. You see, slightly different. And then lod. This is like the D or the La. It's kind of difficult to 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 pronounce it, even for me. Um, so like never mind. It's between the La and the the Da. Not quite that, but yeah, just make the La La sound. Okay, Ba is like the T Ba, a little more fat. It sounds almost like this Da and Ta, Da Ta. This is skinny. And this is fat, da, ba, and this is la, la, like this is small one. This is the, and this is this is skinny, and this is la fat. Ah, uh, does not exist in the English sounds. So ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. and ra like in French, um, robo robot and fa qa also this is a new sound qa 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 and kaf qaf i forgot to say the names qaf kaf lam mim nun ha wa ya as simple as that so um, if you have counted the number of letters here, you'll find 28 letters. And if you want to find 29 letters, you should separate the Hamza. Uh, this is called the Hamza. You see this little thing on top of this um, line, vertical line? This is called the Hamza. And it's like written like this from the Alif. But this is like just um, an extra information that might be useful for you. Okay. Um, a vowel top or at the bottom. So as you can see, for example, th this is my name. This is my friend's name, Molly. Um, so I've wrote my name. For example, here you can find uh, a vowel at the bottom, and then on top, and then on top, here on top, here at the bottom. This is how we write vowels. And then a letter can be written slightly different according to its place in a word. For example, you see this letter and this letter, they are the same. They both, this is the letter ya, yeah, and this is also the letter ya. Yeah. Uh, we have seen this. Um, it has two dots at the, uh, um, at the bottom, here as well, but here it's written at the end of the word, here um, in the middle. So it's written slightly different, okay? Um, now what do we have? I have seen this. Mm, this is the Arabic letters, nouns and basic sounds. The noun of each letter. So I have gone through this. The basic sound table, memorizing the letter. Okay. Um, okay, so we have gone through this. I hope um, I'm going to give you a video that will help you memorize all of these. So don't worry. Um, we'll go through that. So this is a, a picture from Wikipedia that I got, and this is the link a link to um, the, a video that just basically um, has uh, will help you memorizing. Cool. <clears throat> so for example, let's re re let's read this one really quick. So the basic sound is a, b, t, th, j, h, or j, h, h. The th r z s sh s d t. <clears throat> this is kind of difficult. V a x r f q k l m n w y. Kind of like that. So don't worry. Just that's not really important. Just memorize these. It's not complicated. Uh, let's move on. So short vowels and long vowels. Let's move to the vowels. Uh, we've talked about vowels, but not in detail. So we actually have two types of vowels, either short or long vowels. 
and they are very simple. If you see a vowel on top, this is for example the B letter, the basic sound of B is B B B B. So the vowel on top that you see is the sound of A. It's like the A. So B B plus A is B. Like B plus A is B. It's like the same thing. So this is also a B plus the the one circle, the little circle, and it's like a knot. So that sound is actually the U sound. So B plus U is BU. See, very easy. And this is also a B. And that um, vowel at the bottom is the E sound. So B plus E is B. It's very simple. A o i b b b t t t. So this this is always at the top. This is always at the bottom. This is on top at the bottom, and this is also always on top. That's it. That's how it's written. And uh, also the video that I've shown you earlier will help you memorize these. So don't worry. So now the long vowels. The long vowels are also very simple. You see, uh, you s you remember the ba that we saw earlier? It has a dot um, at the bottom, so it's the same letter here. It's also a ba here, um, with a fatha also with with this. Um... Okay, by the way, um, the vowel we also call them harakat, haraka, or movements or or vowels. Like they have these three names. If you hear haraka or movement or vowel, it's like the same thing. Okay, so um, we have fatha um, plus alif. Um, so we have the ba plus the a sound ba from before, and we added this line here, this vertical um, tall line, and that is another a actually. So instead of ba, we say ba, like for example the word bab, bab. You see, like. Bab. Bab means a door, so bab. Cool. Then we have the same letter from before. This is the bu, but we make it a little longer, so it's bu, bu. And this is b, not b. Okay, um, the similarity between long vowels and short vowels is that the, they are read exactly the same. There are two differences. Um, they are first of all they are written differently as you you can see here this table is different from this table adding this and this and this and the long vowels take more time so they take an extra beep as they say so instead of ba we say ba instead of bu we say bu instead of bi we say bi that's why we call them long vowels or mudud or med long vowels cool okay now um, this is just an example for example and an example from the English um, alphabet from the English um, I don't know <laughs> script this is uh, the verb to be and this is a bee a bee makes honey and the verb to be is a verb so to be and B, B and B. So we, you also have this in English, but you don't write them like we do. You see? So yeah. So the short vowel E takes about half a second, for example, and the E vowel takes a whole second, for example. Of course, that is not true. Uh, it's just an example to de demonstrate the, the difference. Okay, the connected form of letters, you can actually um, download the book and zoom in here. So um, it's like, for example, um, the, um, the letter we saw, we saw earlier when we, um, um, when we, where was it? Okay, um, for example, Molly, uh, the letter that she has uh, at the end of the word is, is this of her name of course is this and the letter that I had is 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 this it was in the middle 
So if uh, this is the letter Y, yeah. if it's at the beginning, it's written like this. If it's in the middle, it's like this. If it's at the end, it's like this. And it's really simple, just like you can rec recognize them if you read them. It's not a problem. Okay, now moving to another thing. Um, sukun, sukun, I should correct myself. Sukun, tanmin, and chadda. So what is a sukun? It's very simple. In Arabic, um, ab means father, ab. So this is the a, and this is the ba, and the b, b sound you hear at the end is the, the sukun. Okay, like um, another example. For example, if I don't have this b, if I have, um, um, for example, if I don't have a sukun, how would it, would I pronounce it? If, for example, I add uh, a lama to it, this um, u sound, what, how would it be pronounced? A plus b plus lama, it would be a, the u sound, a bu, a bu. But it's the m sound, so it's ab. That is the sukun, the m sound. B, ab. Cool. Now the tanween, it's the n or un or in sound. For example, if I were to say in Arabic, there is a father, I would say, hunaka abun. Hunaka abun. You see the un sound here? It's those two lamas. But they are really small. You can you can say you see them here. So make sure to download the ebook. Uh, so it's written two lamas, the two oo, oos. Huh? Okay. So if you want to say I saw a father, ra'aytu, ra'aytu, aban. See here, there there are two small lines. We um, usually write one line, but because it's the n sound, we write two lines. So it's n. If you see two lines at the bottom, it's the in sound, li bin bin bin. So ban bin bun, instead of ba bu bi, ban bun bin, instead of ba bu bi, ban bun bin ba bu bi. Okay, uh, you just add the in. Okay, now um, there is actually another word, another kind of not a vowel, but something we write. It's called a shadda. And a shadda is basically um, a sukun, the m uh, 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 sound, plus um, a short vowel. Uh, it can be plus a short vowel, or a tanween, or a long vowel. So if it's, uh, for example, uh, this one, word, which is m, m plus ma. You see here is a sukun and here is a fatha. The m sound and the a sound. So m plus ma. So m plus ma. M plus ma, which is m ma. And instead of writing two letters, we actually write this like uh, upside down three. Okay. And the same um, principle for the rest uh, well, for the, the other ones as well. There is this letter that we call Hamzat al-Wasl and it's like basically like the the alif that you saw earlier. This is like the Hamzat al-Wasl. Okay, so what is the, the, the story behind this Hamzat al-Wasl? So it is written at the beginning of the word and it has no harakah on it. It has no vowel on top, at the bottom or anywhere else. And it's pronounced when it is what the reader begins with saying. For example, if I want to say to someone, write, I would tell him, uktub, uktub. You see, u, u, this is the sound of this line, u, u. And I began my sentence with um, u, and u is pronounced here. Um, and it, the, the Hamzat al wasl is ignored when there is a word before it word before it. it's actually here that we call it Hamzat al-Wasl before it was just uh, probably an alif of course an alif not Hamzat al-Wasl okay for example I want to say Ta'alaktub you say uh, you, you hear the word Ta'alaktub ta come and write I didn't say Uktub Ta'alaktub so I've ignored this and 
basically linked this letter to this letter. I didn't say ta'ala uktub because it's heavy. I said ta'ala ktub. So because I did not begin my speech with this word, I ignored this and linked these two together. And so it is connected to the previous letter that is not a long vowel. So we have um, an exception here. If you see, for example, you will see this Hamzat um, al here, and you will see this letter before it, and you will say to me, um, we did not begin our speech with this letter, so uh, we're going to uh, link this one with this one, this letter with this letter. And actually this letter is a vowel, so what we will do actually is to ignore it as well and move on to the previous one, which is ya. So instead of saying hayya uktub, I will say hayya, hayya, I'm stopping here. Hayya, not here, here. Hayya, and then move on to this letter. Hayya ktub. Cool. Now, Tunisian SMS language principle. So, what is SMS language principle? It's Roman alphabet, f like for example, French alphabet, English alphabet, plus numbers. Example, ahla, which is hello. Ahla. Um, it's used in SMS, and each number actually represents a letter that does not exist in the English alphabet. For example, the two is the a, and it is in the English alphabet. For example, the three is the a, a, a. Um, four or eight is the letter gha. Five is gha. Seven is ha. Nine is qa. So it's, um, you basically read um read english or read french and if you encounter uh, a number you read it as it is um, written here okay now for practicing i've um, given you a link to practice with uh, a bunch of full videos on youtube and i hope that you have fun if you like this video please um, give it a thumbs up. Bye-bye.